We're here in Baltimore. It's Homewood Field. It's the Under Armour All-American game. We have three Terps. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Bruce, who do we have here? We have Madison Sterling right here. I know a local girl from where? Bel Air, Maryland. Bel Air, Maryland. Yep. And Demo Hall from? Carroll County, Maryland. Carroll County. All right. I play golf out of Westminster Golf awesome. all the time. Awesome. And Emily, the goalie from South Carolina. Ridgely, Long Island, though. Ridgely, Long Island. She's just me. To go to yeah. Baltimore, Long Island thing. Girls, uh, you know Maryland's heritage. What? We'll go right down the line. What made you come to Maryland? Um, the overall community, the coaches are amazing. My sister's there now too, and it's just an amazing team, amazing coaches. I'm excited. Um, right when I met the coaches, I fell in love with everything about it. I saw how close everyone on the team was, and I just think overall the experience of my visit just really made me go there. The amazing coaching staff, I went there and I just felt like a click and it's like, I felt like I'm always supposed to be there. So I'm really excited to get to Did you ever get a shot to meet Megan Taylor? Yes, I did. <laughs> she was something. Yeah, she, she was. was. So, she was a real deal. Go ahead. So what's it mean to have somebody who wins a Tour Town Award at your position? It means a lot, especially since um, I see her a lot over the years at Maryland camps and she's always been someone to have in my corner who can coach me and I can reach out to if I need any help and she's just an amazing player to have to look up to. All right, who are your idols as middies? I would say Katie Schwartzman definitely. I grew up watching her play. One time I had her come to my backyard to train me so I've always looked up wow. to her definitely. She's, she's a local too. Yes, she went yeah. to Century. She went to my high school as well so that's also so, something new. Somebody else went to Century. Alice Mercer. Mercer. Lizzie Cole, no, Lizzie Colton was in the county. Because I heard all about a game where you had McDonald on the ropes and let him out. Is that true? Hannah Worthy? Yes, we were so close. Yes. <laughs> so close. Oh my gosh, don't bring it up. A lot of tears that night. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, go ahead. The uh, best part about being a Terp heading to Maryland, what are you looking forward to? Um, just carrying on the legacy of the Maryland team and just being a part of something great and making other young kids like how I was when I was younger, like look up to the team and just be a part of the great community uh, there. Okay, we know you have other fields literally to cover and get to. Bruce, take us out here. Have a great time. I'm going to tell you right now, girls, you're going to love every second you're at Maryland. Right, <laughs> you're going to wait. love Kathy. You're going to love Caitlin. You're going to love the whole crew and uh, look forward to it, all right? Thank you, all right. Thank you so much. Thanks for being on Turf Talk, and you can catch us on 1300 CBS Sports Radio in Baltimore Wednesdays at 6, brought to you by Coons Ford. Good afternoon.